Hey guys, um, I've had several people ask me about giving your brass instrument a bath, and so I'm going to show you how to do that today. Um, first thing I want to say is woodwinds, you do not do this. Saxophone, clarinet, flute, absolutely do not put your instrument in water. Uh, it'll ruin the pads, and that'll cost you several hundred dollars to replace all of those. That's going to be a bad time. So. This is only for brass instruments. Saxophones, you're not brass. Your woodwinds do not do this, okay? Um, all right, so got a trumpet here, and you can do this with trombone, baritone, all like that. It's basically the same thing, okay? First things first, we're going to take out all the slides, and we're just going to wipe them down, get a napkin. I don't like paper towels because they leave a lot of dust and that sort of thing, and that can mess up your horns. Um, wipe them down. See that nasty? That's the old grease and stuff and that's not good. I also like to take take your finger like this, do this move around the edge because if you look down the pipe some stuff builds up on the on the end. You see that? So this horn has not been done for a while. I actually just got this horn and it's quite dirty so you will really see how much of a difference this makes, okay? So wipe down all the inner tubing, and we're going to put it in the tub. Which I'll show you. Um, you want the tub with cold water, do not use hot water. The hot water can uh, make the paint on your horn, the, the lacquer clear paint, uh, peel off, which is bad. Alright, taking out all the slides. This is the little slide that goes on your second valve right here trumpets trombones this is really easy to take apart you just kind of pull out your main tuning slide wipe that down um, pull apart your slide slide you know the that slide wipe down that inner tubing and you're done the rest of us have a lot more to do yeah this is gross okay wiping this down this is the first valve slide. Baritones, you have slides that are just like this on your instrument on the first, second, and third valve. In the main tuning slide, of course, they're a lot bigger. Yeah. Okay. And I'm putting that in the tub. I'm making this video in my bathroom. Because that's where the tub is. Third slide. And my two-year-old might wander in here, or the cats, I don't know. And that's fine. Okay, I'm just I'm wiping these down. This particular horn also, well, let's see, this is supposed to come off. No, looks like it's stuck. That's fine. Okay. Now I've taken out the main tuning slide and one, two, three slides. See there's inner tubing here. The inner tubing is the, uh, well, it's the part that goes inside the other slide. So I got to wipe that down as well. Wipe down all the inner tubing. This is going to be kind of a long video, guys, because this does take a while, but I'm trying to be thorough here with you. So we do it right. Again, take your finger and kind of like picking your nose, isn't it? Do like that to all the tubes. All right. Still got the valves in there. Um, Got to unscrew the bottom and the top. Now, guys, do not use pliers. If these don't unscrew, it doesn't mean you go grab them with a pair of pliers because it takes very little pressure to completely ruin your valves. Okay, I can help you with it. Just bring it to me and I'll get them unstuck because I know how to do it without ruining it. 
do not use pliers on a musical instrument. Got my three bottom valve caps into the tub. There it is. I'm unscrewing the top. Do not, you don't unscrew it here on the button. You unscrew it here. Okay, the part that actually joins to the valve casing. This is the valve casing, okay? If you unscrew it here, all that's going to happen is you're going to make your valve fall apart. This whole piston comes out like that. All right. Be very, very gentle with this. Any damage at all, even just a little scratch, can make this stop working right. Be very, very gentle when you're putting it in the tub, okay? Very gentle. Valves are the most important part of the horn. When they go bad, not a lot you can do to fix it. Do not scratch your valves. Unscrewed, unscrewed, all right. And you could, um, I guess I could have wiped those down too. Just make sure if you're gonna wipe down your valves, I'll go ahead and show you. Use a new napkin, don't use the same napkin or whatever that you just used on your valve slides, on your slides because they got grease. You don't want grease on your valve pistons, okay? So you can take your napkin, just wipe off the old oil. Never use the same towel or napkin or whatever on your valves and anything else. Valves need their own special napkin so you don't get any anything on them. All right. We're good. Your valves should have a number on them so you don't have to memorize what order they go back into the horn. If you don't see the numbers one, two, three on them, uh, you know, try to keep them in order. Okay, so now we have a taken apart horn. We're going to put this into the tub. And the water is here. All right. Okay, the water needs to come up so that the bell doesn't need to be underwater, but this whole pipe does. Okay, and right now the top of this pipe is sticking out. So, I don't know if I got that. I can't see what I'm filming here. The top of this pipe is sticking out, so I need to put some more water in here. Again, cold water. Sorry if that's loud. All right. Now, I'm also gonna get white vinegar. Hi, Elise. Baby just walked in. White vinegar. Dump a couple cups of that in there too, because vinegar cuts grease. That's why you can use it to clean your floors and stuff. All right. So if you want to measure it out, probably two or three cups. Um, but uh, I'm not going to be that precise. So I'm just going to dump it in. This stuff is really cheap at the store. It's like five bucks, maybe less for a jug this big. So don't be shy. All right. Are we underwater yet? All right, so that pipe is about underwater. The point is that everything that you are going to clean needs to be completely submerged in the water. So baritones, you're going to be using a lot of water to do this because you've got, uh, you got a big instrument to do. Since I dumped that water and I'm going to, I'm going to take my hand here and I'm just going to stir it around because I want that vinegar to get inside the horn. I'm going to dump, take my tuning slides put them back in gently so that I'm sure water with vinegar in it gets in there. Alright. We are about underwater. 
um, tools that you need for this. Snake brush. Music store has these, they're like three dollars. We can get you one delivered to the school. Hill Music will deliver it to you. Um, you can use an old tooth for the inside of the valves. You can use an old toothbrush or you just got to make sure it's not too wide. What I like to use is, um, this is actually a clarinet mouthpiece brush, but it works. All right, I believe we're underwater. Take out, taking out the horn again, so that I'm sure water with vinegar gets in. Okay. I think we're good. Hi, Elise. Hi. Want to come say hi? Okay. Okay. What's going on? This is Elise. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Daddy's giving the trumpet a bath. You say trumpet? Pa pa pa. Trumpet. Yep. It's getting a bath like you get a bath. Alright. Scram. Alright, Watch your watch your head there, Sarah. Um, okay. So now we're underwater and all that Hi. stuff. Hi, Elise. <laughs> you want to help? Okay. Yeah. I don't know if you can, though. Um, what was I doing? Okay. Sorry, I got sidetracked by the cute two-year-old. Um, you want to actually let this sit, and you can let it sit overnight if you want. The longer it sits, the better, because the, the water and the vinegar are going to break down the gunk that's inside the horn. Just to show you why we're doing this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this out of the water. This is not what you're supposed to do. I'm just doing this to illustrate a point. I'm going to take the snake brush here. And I'm just going to run it through so it's red right there. That's, it. That's clean. I'm just going to run this through the lead pipe once just to show you why we're doing this. All right. I don't know if you can see all that gunk that's on the horn. That's on the... Uh, brush now. Sometimes it's black, sometimes it's green. That's nasty. Um, and after you let it... Hi! After you let it sit for several hours... Sad baby. Uh, you'll get even more stuff out because it'll break it down. Um, so what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and I'm going to, uh, come back later and we're going to use the snake brush and I'll show you how to clean up all the slides. But basically all you do is you, you run the snake brush through just like we just did all the slides. It's the most important thing that you got to remember is do not scratch the inside of the instrument. This is, this is wire inside obviously that these are just the bristles but the middle part is just uh, is wire and it's metal and it will scratch your horn if uh, you're not careful um, so don't do that especially on the inside of the valve casings alright so we're gonna hit pause here and we're gonna come back later after it's uh, had some time to set and we'll do the nasty gross part alright <laughs> 